Uh, actually, I uh, left Bahrain to, uh, for, for high studies to continue my studies. Mm -hmm. That was in 1977. Right. And I left to London. Mm -hmm. But there we started the activities, student activities. Right. And uh, especially in the late 80s, there were some disturbances here in Bahrain. Yeah. There were uh, political detainees. Mm -hmm. So we started there to campaign for uh, the release of mm -hmm. the detainees. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, mostly uh, student yeah. political uh, activities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was the, the start. Right. And uh, then uh, later on, uh, uh, I was engaged. Mm -hmm. more and more uh, activities mm -hmm. and uh, because of uh, some demonstrations in front of the embassy in London mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I, I knew that uh, I was blacklisted mm -hmm. I so I couldn't uh, go back to right. come back to Bahrain right. yeah until uh, 1989 oh, he's, he's mm -hmm. I went with my family he's to Denmark I seek the uh, political asylum there, uh -huh. and uh, until 2001 I came back to Bahrain. Right. I mean, we have a question. problem here in Bahrain. Mm -hmm. Fear. Fear is a, a real, real problem. Uh, until the seminar by the uh, center, people will not dare to criticize the prime minister. Mm -hmm. None of the people. Take any people from any walk of life here in Bahrain. Mm -hmm. And that's, we, we found out that breaking this, uh, uh, what can I call it? It's, it's a step that people must take to speak up, mm -hmm. to speak their mind. Everybody is criticizing the prime minister, but not in public. So we thought if we took that step, the people will start speaking about what they know. Many people know a lot of things mm -hmm. about corruption in the government and by the prime minister. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think we'll see a lot of uh, things and information in the coming future, the short term. Well, let's figure out what do you think is you know, going to happen and what is your movement going to do? And OK, before answering that, yeah. I uh, said that there are two main things. Mm -hmm. One is that the, the Prime Minister and the, the government will not support the economic reforms. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that when you have a huge project like McKinsey, mm -hmm. you are never sure that it will work out. Mm -hmm. It's as they say, it's a, a five, six years project. Yeah. So it might work or not work, mm -hmm. especially if there are uh, obstacles by other people. Mm -hmm. And also, we have a very urgent needs nowadays. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do about that? That's my, uh, our concern. The urgent need of people. The poor people who don't have any kind of income. Mm -hmm. The people who are getting, uh, uh, they are underpaid mm -hmm. and they don't have enough to have uh, uh, living, this standard living. Mm -hmm. And uh, the areas in Bahrain which is below the standards and they are living in poverty. So we have uh, urgent needs now. Who is going to ch change the situation? Who is going to uh, give answers to, to these uh, urgent needs? Mm -hmm. McKinsey will not do that in the short term. So we need to, do, to work on that. So what uh, we are thinking about now is to start a kind of a movement, uh, let's call it a popular uh, movement, mm -hmm. to make pressure on the government, on the state at mm -hmm. all, mm -hmm. to make some uh, changes, regulations, mm -hmm. to answer the urgent needs and the uh, economic uh, reforms in the long run. And that might support any kind of uh, long-term project. Well, people already are under a lot of uh, problems and pressure mm -hmm. and their rights are deprived, they are deprived of, from their rights mm -hmm. and uh, they need to do something. Mm -hmm. 
uh, our uh, our agenda always been uh, peaceful uh, activities mm -hmm. and i think the committee tried very much to keep it to peaceful mm -hmm. to peace yeah. and uh, uh, what i would say that i tried very much to ask the committee my family my friends and the committee not to concentrate on me as a person or my release mm -hmm. but to concentrate on the main goal the people rights so if people move mm -hmm. to gain their rights to protect their rights mm -hmm. and uh, the government do some kind of reaction it's not the people's fault it's the government's fault mm -hmm. i would prefer that always been uh, for the people uh, rights not for me personally mm -hmm. But sometimes you need to sacrifice to get your rights. Actually, we, we have started our work in Bahrain and Bahrain Human Rights Center to kind of campaign for uh, people uh, rights mm -hmm. and uh, freedoms. And uh, we are continuing on that, even if the center is not uh, reopened. Mm -hmm. We are going to work with the people because actually they are the main uh, subject of our work. Mm -hmm. So we will try to be twin and what happened in the last two months has uh, proven that uh, people are uh, keen to protect their, their rights and they are ready to work. So what's, I think that's, that was only one step in the right direction mm -hmm. what happened. And uh, we are going to continue doing that. Um, and uh, maybe it's a kind of popular movement, mainly for uh, economic rights and social justice. Mm -hmm. I hope we can do much about that. But uh, life will go on. And uh, we'll try our best.